so apparently the render times in Sony Vegas are quite long, according to some people. And I've never had to deal with that because I render usually around 30 second long videos. But they are in very high quality and they render in around a minute. But I found when I put my settings down sustaining a pretty similar quality, it cuts the render time by about 75% and it looks no different, still 1080p, all this and that. So let's get into the Don't forget this video is brought to you by your kitchen sink for all those perfect times you walk downstairs in the morning, the sun reflects off of the stainless steel and you get blinded for three minutes before you make coffee. And I've got this project file open here, this is the logo style edit i done. This took about maybe three minutes to render because it's got uh, quite a lot of clips uh, in it, so it's quite a large file. And when I changed these settings, it went down to about a minute and a half. And even when I've had to render longer videos that take about 10-15 minutes, that never bothers me, considering the render times I have to deal with, like, you know, 13 hours. Because, you know, rendering's fun. We all love to render. One thing I forgot to mention was disabling resample. This will impact your render a lot and help it a ton, so make sure you do that. So in the project properties, don't bother using a template. Set that to 1920 by 1080. By the end of all of this, if your render time didn't go down too much and you need to render fast, set this to 1280 by 720. And your frame rate, keep that at 30. You do not need that above unless you're doing um, something quite intricate. Uh, or dealing with slow-mo shots. 30 is enough. Putting that up, just think, you, you're doubling it. If you've if you've got 30 FPS and you put up to 60, you're doubling your render time right there. Pixel aspect ratio, if that's not on 1, then put it to 1. Uh, pixel format, make sure that's on 8-bit. Don't put that above, there's really no need. Now the full resolution render and quality. The difference between good and best is nothing you don't notice and that will impact your render time so you put that to good of course motion blur type gaussian don't don't mess with that and your deinterlace method set that to none yeah and tick this here as well and then click apply and on audio you want to set the sample rate to about forty eight thousand, the bit depth to 16 and the resample and stretch quality to good again you put it to best, you're not going to notice it, and you're just going to make your render times longer. And then start all new projects with these settings. Make sure that's applied to that one as well. Yeah, right, cool. And then once this is all ready to render, if we go to render as, now I've got all my, um, I've got all my saved templates I've made here for different variables of what I'm doing. Well, if we uncheck this, and we go to main concept avc go down to internet hd 1080p and if you want to do it at 720p then pick the 720p one and if you go and customize template we can see this is at 1080p here 1440p no need just don't obviously we want 30 frames per second field order none um yeah, just make sure that's on none. Allow source to adjust frame rate, tick that off. Because if you're bringing in a 60 FPS clip that doesn't need to be 60 FPS, it's going to change it automatically. Now onto the bitrate. Set that to 10 million, that's the recommended amount. And here is the most impactful thing. People hear that if you render with your graphics card, it will render faster. But here's the thing, is this is rendering using CUDA, which is your CUDA cores. Now, even though graphics cores are genuinely more powerful than processors, if you have a 1050, 1060, 1070, your CUDA cores are quite low. So make sure you Google how many CUDA cores you have. Just type in, for example, if you have a GTX 1050, type in GTX 1050 CUDA cores and it will tell you. I would suggest if you have below 2000 CUDA cores, do not use this. Because, you know, basing on the majority that most people have a four core processor, using your CUDA is unnecessary. It won't make a difference. It will either render longer or it's just, it's really not necessary. If you have a Titan X, a 1080 Ti, 980 Ti, 780 Ti, 
or even any of the 80s, it's probably wise to go with it. Um, if you've got something crazy like fucking five Titan X's, then yeah, click that. You you don't even need to be on this video if you're using that. So make sure you have that in CPU. So I'm going to stick that to CPU, just Google your graphics card. I personally prefer to use my CPU. And audio, sample rate, again, 48,000. Bit rate, I would say 160,000, to be honest. You could probably go up, you could probably go down, but I'm going to keep it in that. And on system, make sure that's on MP4. And you want to have them two on use project settings. Click OK. Obviously favorite that. Now we have our template. And you can use that on everything. If this didn't change a thing, set it to 720p. It People will notice a difference. But when you're on a tight schedule and you need to get videos out, 720p isn't going to make a difference at all. If you have the time, then do it. Also on your task manager, if you come to details and find your Vegas.exe, right click it, set priority, and set it to high, for example. That will increase the render time drastically. But you've got to make sure you don't have other things open, don't have like nine tabs open, and be on a Skype call with like six people. And loads of background processes because especially if you're rendering with your cpu if you're rendering with your gpu it doesn't matter so much but with your cpu make sure you've got a lot of things closed on your computer and leave your computer to concentrate in vegas because it's using your cpu when you set your priority to high it's going to take away all that power from everything else and put it all into vegas so anything else you're running is just going to bug the fuck out so only do that if you've got everything else closed and you're not busy doing other stuff on your computer. After you've changed all those settings, done the thing on your task manager, closed down any background processes, your render should be much faster. I tried this after hearing about the fact that Sony Vegas actually takes ages to render and it, it worked. I even extended uh, my timeline out and it, it worked as well. So try this, your render times will shoot up loads and you can actually have fun rendering i know and the biggest problem with people when it comes to rendering is they set settings up high that don't need to be high because they think their computer can handle it and this and that and it's bottom line is you need to get these rendered on the time scale and you can't waste time for a little bit of quality that the naked eye can't even see so copy these settings get them all down set presets and you're sorted. Also, don't forget this video is brought to you by your kitchen sink. Those perfect times where you wake up in the morning and you stick your head in the sink and wash your hair. Thank you.